Hi, have you ever met anyone that absolutely loves their career and loves what they do? I'm Dr. Lynn Ann Maste, and I've been an orthodontist for 25 years, and I can say without a doubt that I absolutely love being an orthodontist. Did you know that orthodontists are actually working anthropologists? Well, hold that thought, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in Holyoke, Massachusetts, and I attended Wheaton College as an undergrad. I always wanted to pursue my dream of being a dentist, so I applied to the University of Pennsylvania School of Dental Medicine. After receiving my dental degree, I went on to specialize in orthodontics and dental facial orthopedics here at Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A lot of people ask me, Dr. Maste, how did you get interested in being an orthodontist? Well, actually, it was an amazing professor in my undergrad classes. He talked about a famous doctor in the 1800s by the name of Percy Raymond Begg. Dr. Begg studied the evolution of the Aboriginal indigenous Indians of Australia. And he noticed that they had very large jaws and they had no crowding and no periodontal disease. Their teeth wore away because they had a very gritty and rough diet. So Dr. Begg basically theorized that the reason we have wisdom teeth and need to get them extracted is because as we evolved, our wisdom teeth had no room to fit in. Hence, that's why everyone gets their wisdom teeth extracted. I thought that was a great connection and I knew that anthropology and orthodontics, a career would be great fit for me. What does it take to be an orthodontist? Well, as an undergrad, you will have to take required courses. Those are usually in the science curriculum. Also, you'll have to take an entrance exam called a DAT. Once you complete four years of dental school and you get your DMD or your DDS, you need to apply to specialize for orthodontics. Usually, these are two or three year programs. Now, going to school six or seven years after college sounds like a lot, but it is a great investment. Most orthodontists their first year out make about $150,000. Earlier I mentioned that orthodontists are working anthropologists. I love what I do every day. And as an anthropologist, you study the origins of growth in human beings. And as an orthodontist, we take all those things and apply it to anatomy. We measure bones, we measure skulls, we measure jaws, and we also measure teeth. And doing this every day helps our patients with diagnostic issues and treatment planning. So being an orthodontist is also a fabulous career because it's full of innovation. From the very beginning, we have expanders and functional appliances and Damon brackets, and now we even have Invisalign. So it is a great career, and the nicest part is working with patients from ages seven to 70. And like Dr. Begg, we do do a lot of studying of growth and development. My advice to you is to love what you do and apply what you know. So if you're interested in knowing more about how anthropology and orthodontics is connected, visit the American Dental Association website at www.ada.org. I'd like to thank Dr. Tremblay for asking me to talk about my career as an orthodontist, and I wish you all good luck and have a great day.